Hiya, Gaz here from Moth Couture. I thought I'd give you another update on my workshop that I'm building at the moment, my pig pen workshop. Um, so yeah, let's just walk in. So you can see I've got my alleyway finished now. Obviously it's not painted or finished, uh, like trimmed niceties, you know, but it's like all structurally put together. Um, it is just pig pens, I've chopped in half and put the side of my garage roof here with beams. And then on the back of a fence, the neighbor's fence, it was concrete posts, which I've actually secured my structure onto the concrete posts through them with like kind of round headed coach bolts and I'm not going to undo them from the other side. On the inside, I've got the big bolts coming here. I haven't trimmed them off yet. Um, I worked this out along the way. Um, if you start trimming bolts off like this and then you decide you want to put something else there, you're just wasting it, you know, because you've got to use another bolt. So I always leave these. So along the way, there's like, you'll see them sticking out. They've got like sort of nuts on the end of them, but there's a load of excess. So what I figure I'm going to do along here is I'm going to put a shelf across here. So a batten of wood all the way up. That'll help keep this all sort of flat as well, like pressed in where it springs out. So that'll be nice and tight along there. And then just a nice little shelf, probably no greater than about sort of six inches deep. So it'd be decent to put like sort of pots and stuff on there, you know, like pots of paint or whatever else, you know. Like you can see I've got me like sort of old fashioned paving slabs down there. And then eventually I'll be putting like sort of strip lights up here with like kind of a, an outdoor switch and then there'll be a door on the front here. But yeah, this area here, obviously it's not going to be a workshop to work in. It'll pretty much just be storage, like weatherproofed storage. I might paint it. I fancy putting flyers and stuff on it, you know, from like sort of boozers and what have you that I've been to along the way. Um, right, so we'll walk up to the main area, see how we're getting on. It's a big old drone table there. It's massive and cumbersome. It's from like the 70s or something. Like old uh, sort of draftsman table. It'll get use of game, but it's a bit massive. You can get like sort of tabletop ones nowadays. Right, so here's my actual workshop, if you like. Um, it's not huge, far from it, but it's a usable space. Um, I'm just finishing trimming off with what I've got left of this um, sort of board. And also it gives us kind of something to secure this metal to. Um, what I didn't show you, down here because I've got a load of this crap from um, farmers and not that I get rid of it all. Down here I've got like a pile of scrap metal and some it's like the corrugated stuff. At the ends of it I'm trimming off with an angle grinder so it's nice and neat. You can see all my off cuts here like once you know get rid of all the shit stuff because it's just going to carry on rotten. So get it off finish it nice and clean and then uh, I'm not asked if there's a bit of rust on there I think it look it adds to the carrot and the junkiness of inside here which I quite like. But anyway, what I'm going to do is, I thought about leaving this board just as it is, because I quite like it actually. I think it's lovely uh, looking, a bit matte varnish on there just to sort of um, sort of preserve it a little bit, I suppose, you know, uh, weatherproof a little bit. The outside will actually be getting um, kind of, you see the structure here, but the outside's going to get clad. Like I want it all nice and wooden clad. I think that'll look lush inside the structure. As long as it's strong, I don't give a shit what it looks like. Um, as long as it's neat and it's like I say strong is the main thing but the inside what I did figure out I was going to do all that spare metal down there I'm actually going to clad the inside and carry on this effect that you see here right the missus doesn't like it she thinks it looks shit but I quite like it it's grown on us the more I'm doing it but it also has a functional purpose as well so you can see I'm just bending this one here for the corner right the actual workshop going round so you'll see at the back here um it's it's just leaned to at the back of my garage but it's like kind of a funny angle I'll try and bring that around so you can see so it's not square it's but it's the widest point it's probably about maybe two and a half meters three meters wide at its shallowest sort of width it's probably about a meter and a half wide and it's about five meters long so it's decent space you know and uh, obviously i've got roof uh, space now these are a couple of units so i'll be pimping up and turning into like sort of sexy um, furniture bits. But inside here, I'm gonna clad it all with metal because clearly I've got no way of heating this, uh, like electrically anyway, I don't wanna waste money fucking doing that with radiators. So in the corner here on the stone, just out the way of where all my tooling and stuff's gonna be, I'm gonna put it like an old fashioned Norwegian um, heater, like wood burner, be sealed. And then there'll be like a metal chimney coming up here with a witch's hat on through the top stop rainwater and everything getting into it, you know? So the metal inside actually serves a real good purpose. It's going to prevent me wood kind of like sort of burning, I suppose. 
you know. But anyway, yeah, that was an update for today. Bit boring. I know I waffle shit, but as you see all these videos, you'll get used to it. Right, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.